I love the red couch. The red couch is iconic. It means Xterra South Africa. And um, it has been in use for years to put people on the spot, to um, tell uh, interesting stories about uh, the folks who are participating here in the Xterra race. And I find it personally a privilege to be sitting here on the couch. Yeah, the infamous red couch. Eh? I think uh, every athlete who's raced here enough, whether they be a, a full-time age grouper or professional athlete, have all had the opportunity to sit on, on this red couch and um, probably started myself when I was about, I don't know, 23, 24 years old. So I've had my fair share of time on the couch and probably said some things I regret and other things that are <laughs> hopefully still stand true. I love what the red couch represents. It means Xterra South Africa, Xterra for Bo, Fed Out Xterra is back in town. Xterra is, it's, it's very hard to explain what kind of an event Xterra is. It's more of a family when you get here. It's really just one of those events that everyone's welcome. It doesn't matter if you're just starting or if you're a top level pro. It's just got such a great vibe to it, and that's what attracts me to these races, is that the, the whole overall experience, the feel, the locations, everything like that. I mean, Xterra, any road triathlon you can do wherever there's road. Xterra, they always choose the, the, like, the remote, cool, like in the bush places where there's serious culture and like fun activities to do. So it's always very exciting and very fun to be at these events. It's the must-do event of the year. Uh, and it's the largest. I figured while living in Europe I had to do it. I'm looking to continue to improve mostly on my own personal self. That's my biggest one right now. I'm still in, since I'm still newer to triathlon and Xterra, I'm still in the growing phase. So I just want to continue to make improvements each time I come out. The biggest thing is not racing each other in South Africa, it's racing enough so that we can actually compete with the international guys. So it'd be a good kind of a landmark to base ourselves on how, how well we, we fare up against the international guys and if we need to up our game and by how much. Race perspective, um, I think probably the biggest competition is going to be Brice de Bort from France. Uh, he's proved himself over and over again on the European circuit, on the Xterra World Circuit. and. Um, he's definitely one to beat. I think the international field has grown more and more. The people really like coming out here. So it's really nice to race like the people from all over the show. And like obviously in your brain you're always like, oh he's from France, like he's super fast. But they're just people, so it's cool to see that as well. Because then when you go to World Champs and you race overseas, you realize like they're pretty much the same as you. You can give them a go. And our local Oaks are doing that big time. Like we've done really well the past few years, especially at the cross triathlon world champs. And Brad's world champ now for Xterra as well, so. Well, I'm excited to see uh, Bradley come here um, as the reigning world champion. He had an epic year last year. Um, he was uh, very, very close to winning this race last year. And, um, you know, I think he has a lot to show and a lot to prove this year. And there's some great competition that's coming in. This is going to be a great race and uh, these guys uh, will bring it. Uh, but this particular location is an epic exterra location. I mean, Mother Nature is in all of her glory here. Mm -hmm.